Hey, my name is Sven, and in this short video, I'm going to explain you how you can stream Rust and record while playing on a custom resolution or a widescreen. The main reason I'm making this video is because a lot of people ask me how I can play and record Rust on an ultra widescreen, but still output videos and live streams while playing on a 32 by 9 aspect ratio. This video is modular. You can apply the same steps to any resolution you might be playing on. It's also going to be split into two parts. In the first part, I'm going to be covering live streaming. And in the second part, I'm going to be covering recording. Before we go into any detail, it is important to explain what aspect ratio is. Normally, and most of you, play on a 1920 by 1080 resolution. This translates into a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. We can increase the resolution to, for example, 2560 by 1440 and maintain the same 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Most screens have this aspect ratio and most games are made for this aspect ratio. Although in my case, I have a different aspect ratio. And that is what this video is for. Technically, this video is not particularly made for Rust. Because you could apply the same techniques for different games too. Although in this video, we're specifically going to talk about the game Rust. I might cover other games in the future. Now once again, the steps we are about to do in this video are modular. You can apply these steps with any aspect ratio your screen might have. In my case, I have the Samsung Odyssey G9. But most importantly, I play on 5120 by 1440 resolution, which is a 32 by 9 aspect ratio. For the upcoming steps, you're going to need some graphical assets. You can find them by joining my Discord server and going to the info channel. You will be redirected to an Imgur link where you can download an example picture that we need for references and the icons picture. All right, so first things first, after you loaded up OBS, something that doesn't matter here is whatever settings I am using right now. Um, the aspect ratio of your output is always going to be 60 by 9, which is uh, basically a 1920 by 1080 uh, resolution. And so for your uh, video output right here, even if you are outputting on 4K or on lower resolutions, you're always going to have the same canvas size in OBS. That's, that's the only thing that matters. Now, you're going to want to load up Rust and make sure that Rust is running in your background. And we're going to want to add it as a game capture. I'm going to add it right here. Whatever settings you use here, it doesn't really matter for the purpose of this tutorial. And as you can see, my Rust is really widescreen. Like, it's very big. You see right now, it, it doesn't fit inside of the screen at all. And if I adjust it, you're going to be having the problem which you come to this video for. Which is that you can't make this fit. Let's just reset it real quick here. Alright, so we have the original one. The original screen right here. Now you want to leave this. You don't want to resize it. You don't want to. You don't want to do anything with this. You can move it, uh, but you don't want to do anything with this for now. It is important that we load up to a server in Rust where your food, water, and health is full HP. So we're gonna go do that. Now you want to make sure your full HP, full food, full water, everything you possibly can be. And once we've loaded up Rust and we're full HP, full water. Uh, we can actually start aligning our original input. When you import the game capture, it should be sticking to the top left. Don't resize it, don't move it, you don't have to do any of that. The first thing you want to do is you want to do fit to screen. And it becomes like this, right? Now, what you should do is increase the size while holding shift. And you want to do it until it snaps right there. Now... You want to right click on it again. You want to do transform and you want to do center to screen horizontally right there. Now we have the exact same uh, output as a 16 by 9 resolution. Although the left, as you can see, and the right are basically cut off in this sense. Now, if you move it, you can do that. Just make sure it snaps to the top and the bottom. And then you can right click, transform, center horizontally. That's how you get it in line. Um, if you open Rust and you tab... You'll see that you can see absolutely everything, except if go back into the recording. We can't see the health bar. We can also not see the team UI. That's kind of the only sacrifice we make. And once again, it does not matter what kind of resolution you're recording in. This applies to basically anything. Now, the next thing we're going to want to add is the icons for health, food and water before we actually add the bars. So we're going to add an image. You can download this image. We're going to call it Rust Icons. And we're gonna put browse and we're gonna put it right there. 
You can download this in the description from the video. And we added that on top. As you see, they're really white. And we want to make sure they look a little bit the same. To get the color the same, you can either open the game or you can use a screenshot or something. Or you can just trust me on what you should be doing. You should add a filter. You should go for color correction. And then you should change the opacity and you should change it down to about 50%. If you want to make it a little bit more uh, visible, you should do 60. Although I like to keep it at 50. Maybe even put it to like 35. I think 35 is about exactly what the rest has as well. All we have to do now is add our health, food and water bar. Now to make things easier, I've made it night in my rust. You want to gonna add the image that I've provided in the pack. Which is a screenshot of rust during night with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And it should fit exactly like this. You can lock it just in case so we don't accidentally move it. And now we have all three layers locked. If we put our screenshot under the rust icons layer and we hide and unhide the rust icons, you'll see that the health, food and water icons are perfectly aligned. This is very important. Now the background screenshot is just for reference. So we can hide that for now, have the actual game open. All we have to do right now is add the actual health, food and water bars and we're going to crop them out. You can't copy this game capture. We're actually going to have to add a new game capture. Game capture and add the current one. Now we're going to do the same steps again. We're going to resize this. Make sure that the height snaps to each other like that. And now we're going to hold alt on the left part and drag it inwards. We're going to crop it. I'm going to let go of alt. I'm going to move this to the left. And we're going to do that until the red bar is about here. Unfortunately, in OBS, you cannot zoom in more than you can zoom in. So I'm going to show you guys on full screen that this is the closest you can get it. Uh, for everyone, this is different. You want to make sure you're very close to the actual preview. Now we want to hold Alt while we crop. So while we drag this, we're going to hold Alt. And we're going to align the top and the left corner like that. And we're also going to hold Alt for the bottom left, the bottom right part like that. Now this is pretty all right. Now an easy way to see if, ever, if it's like super properly aligned is by preview it either on your main screen or on one of your side screen. Now for the next two bars, it's pretty easy. I'm going to go back to the original preview here. And we're going to copy Ctrl C this first game capture, which is the one for the bar. And we're going to do Ctrl V. And we're going to hide or we're going to lock the one for the for the health. And we're going to just have the one that we're editing unlocked. And we hold Alt and we're going to go for the next bar. And we're going to try and find the bottom. But once again, you should probably make it night in your rust server just so this alignment is easier As you can see right now it's night you should be able to see properly now like that and like that all you have to do now is check on your other screen where it's like maximum size if this looks good if it does you can check again with the background and you'll see that it's basically perfect now the reason why you want to duplicate is so we keep the same width that's very important we're just changing the cropping on the height by going to the next bar but we're stay we're keeping the exact same width this way we don't have to do anything with like aligning them properly which can be a pain and once again for the third one we do ctrl c ctrl v we lock the water one and we only edit the one that we want to edit and we go down and we try and find order again right there it's important you lock all of these it's also important we now move the rust icons on top and as you can see right now if we load the screenshots actual game screenshot it's pretty much perfectly aligned now thank you all for watching i hope this video was useful and i hope this helped you guys i know there's some creators out there that consider getting a widescreen monitor or using it and struggle to think about how they could actually make content with it as well and i hope this clarifies it all up it's definitely possible it's not that big of a hassle all you need to do is a few simple steps after you're done editing your video to fit it in. So thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and make sure to subscribe to my main channel as well. I'll see you all in the next one.